Welcome back to another video. Um, UFC just made this big, huge deal. For Reebok, okay? And a lot of UFC fighters, Nick Diaz, Nate Diaz, Anderson Silva, basically said, we don't care about it because it's screwing fighters out of being able to get sponsors. Because you say uh, fighters such as Anderson Silva is sponsored by Nike, and now he can't use his Nike deal when he goes into the octagon. So a lot of fighters are not even going to get paid. They're only going to pay their fight uh, paycheck, and that's it. Because Nick Diaz said, if you're not even ranked in the top uh, 10, they're really not even going to want to uh, sponsor you, put you on this deal. So, what do you think about this whole Nike deal? Do you think it's really jacked up that the UFC is just saying, well, we're looking out for the fighters? No, you're not. You're not looking out for the fighters who are sponsored by Under Arm or sponsored by uh, Snapple or like George St. Pierre was uh, sponsored by like uh, Axe Deodorant. No one's, those things you can't use anymore. You can't have the banners to say Axe Deodorant because... They're not going to need them anymore. They say you're not going to even really need. They're not even going to really have to have managers anymore because managers were there to help fighters get these deals. And now it's basically, well, you don't need a manager. You don't need uh, any more deals. You just either sign with Reebok or you don't even have a sponsor deal. You basically are sponsored by Re Reebok or nobody. That's That's completely, completely stupid. And on the other hand, we go right into it. Boom. Rory McDonald is now not getting a title shot. He said he's not going to be the next guy getting a title shot. It sounds like they're going to do a, another rematch between Johnny Stupid Hendrix and Robbie Lawler. To be honest with you guys, I don't care about that fight. To me personally, around three, uh, fight three, I don't want to see that bullshit. I want to see another contender come up there. We don't care. I don't care if Johnny Hendricks was the one who won that fight or Robbie Lawler won it. It should go to the next guy in line. And the next guy in line is Rory McDonald. So basically, Rory McDonald's going to have to fight another fight and possibly lose that fight and then get screwed out of getting a title shot. That's what happens to a lot of these fighters nowadays. They get screwed out of title shots. They deserve a title shot. Look at Alex Gustin. He deserves a title shot at... Uh, John Jones, but they're not giving him the uh, rematch that he deserves. They're like, nah, Daniel Cormier will make more money. No, I think he deserves a title shot. The same thing with Roy McDonald. He has busted his ass for years in the UFC and is now the number one contender. But they're saying, well, we got to do another Johnny Hendricks fight. To me, honestly, you guys, Johnny versus uh, Robbie Lawler is a boring fight. I don't, I don't particularly like these two guys. I don't particularly think Johnny Hendricks is the greatest fighter in the world. I think Roy McDonald would whoop him easily, and I think Roy McDonald deserves a title shot and will become the welterweight champion of the world. I, I just think the UFC likes to do these stupid rematches and stupid rematches that be, become redundant. They become boring. It's like. How many Frankie Edgar rematches were there? A lot. He did a rematch with Gray Maynard like twice. He did three like twice with BJ Penn. He did twice with a couple other guys. And it's like it comes to a point that it's just boring to see the same fighter fight over and over. It reminds me of the days of WWE where they'd have like Stone Cold Steve Austin versus The Rock and they would have like 40 matches throughout their career. It's like, as, as it gets to the point, it's stupid, it's boring, it's fucking lame. But going back to the Reebok deal, if actually former UFC middleweight champion Anderson Silva is basically I don't give a shit. I want to be still sponsored by Nike and I still want to make my money. He said it's not even about the money. It's about him wanting to be sponsored by who he wants to be sponsored by and not basically have a uniform like... Nate Diaz was saying it's basically bullshit. They're basically watering down the sport. And a lot of people are saying the UFC is monopolizing the uh, the sport of mixed martial arts. And to be honest with you, I think a lot of these other organizations are going to start rising up, start getting more better uh, competitors, better fighters. Look at it this way. A lot of people preferred the WEC over the UFC. At least I did. I thought the WEC had a really great uh, roster, a really great organization. It was really great. 
UFC came in and mopped them up and bought all their fighters out and bought their organization. Pride for the same thing. Pride was one of the best organizations to ever uh, exist. They came in and bought that shit up. You look at it this way. Strike Force, they did the same thing. Came in there, mopped it up. I mean, what else is next? They're going to take World Series of Fighting. I'm surprised they don't take uh, Invicta and just wipe out Invicta and say, Oh, sorry. And I'm surprised they're not trying to take Bellator out and just mop them up. Because the UFC needs competitors. Um, I really think they do need competitors. It's, it's, it's because the UFC has so many fighters. That's why they're putting on so many events and so many cards. And a lot of times, I think nowadays... The cards are so watered down, no one gives a shit. Or they're like, hey, did you see the uh, fight Saturday? No, I, I watched the fight Wednesday. People don't want to watch fights Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday because you're not getting hyped for the fights. The, like, I can see some fights on UFC.com right now that I get hyped uh, hyped about. Like, the Frank Muir fight versus uh, Bigfoot itself it looks like a great fight. But that's like a couple months from now. I love the old days of UFC where people were getting really excited. One last thing, guys. I don't really know why people are, are, are not getting pumped for a lot of fights. I can understand why. Because they're not really hyping them up. You don't really have the countdown shows. You don't have the octagon shows. You don't really have a lot of stuff they used to do that would pump you up for a fight. They would actually talk about, like, let's say, Brock Lesnar versus uh, Shane Carwin. They would talk about that fight for, like, a month in advance and really hype it up, really pump it out. Got a lot of interviews, get a lot of... Uh, like documentaries on these dudes and it would really make the fights really more exciting and now you watch them and it's like oh we're gonna put like a 20 second clip up on YouTube and they're saying hey I'm Brock Lesnar I'm gonna go smash Shane Carlin's face and then Shane Carlin comes out Brock I'm gonna whip your ass I'm the new champ and that's it it's like you can't get pumped for that but with that being said guys let me know what you guys think of this whole Reebok deal do you think it's messed up that literally Rory McDonald is not getting the title shot, and it's just going to be another stupid rematch. If it's if it's another close fight, are they going to keep doing rematch after rematch after rematch? Because that's stupid. With that being said, that's been another episode of the MMA Breakdown Podcast for December 17, 2014. Hopefully, we uh, after the Johnny Hendricks versus Robbie Lawler shit can uh, happen, we can actually see a real good title fight and see a new champion because I really want to see Roy McDonald become champion. I'm not really the biggest fan, but I think he deserves a title shot. He, he, just just give the dude a title shot and stop having Johnny Hendricks. That dude's boring. He, he, he lays and prays. He thinks he's a knockout artist. He ain't really that great of a fighter. I like, like, honestly, if GSP would have been in his prime, like, in his prime without the knee injury, he would have dominated him. I think Nate Diaz, Nick Diaz, could beat that dude. But I bet you if he fought like a Nick Diaz, he would just rustle him to the ground because he ain't standing and banging with the Diaz brother. But that's my honest opinion. Uh, I'm not a Johnny Hendricks fan, not a Robbie Lawler fan. I think they both have very similar styles. It's not like the most exciting fighting style for me personally. But that has been today's show. Just wanted to make this quick video for you guys and uh, give my opinion on Robbie, Robbie Lawler versus Hendricks. Don't want to see it. Just like I don't want to see another title fight with Cain Velasquez versus Junior DeSantos. And I don't want to see the uh, rematch. So I'll definitely talk to you guys next time. Peace on the street, son.